Welcome back. Anyone living in Lagos would have heard about the plans to transform the state into a mega city. However, the daily influx of destitutes and beggars from all parts of the country um, obviously puts a damper on things. Now, uh, investigations reveal that these migrants come with one plan, to hit the streets and beg for arms. That's it. A culture which has been sustained by our religious and cultural beliefs. Reports also claim that these beggars constitute an environmental and security threat. Now, what are your thoughts on this? You can call us on 070-806-68014. We'd like to hear your views. And you can tweet to us at yourviewtvc. Uh, we'd like to hear from you again. Yes, <laughs> destitutes, we don't want to say they're from a certain part of the country because they could be from anywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, but the truth is that they are amongst us. And they come here with the purpose of selling, I mean, begging for arms. Mm -hmm. Now, these are mega city plan. Do you think, what do you think, as, 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 as a normal citizen, what do you think the, the government should do? Should we send them back? <laughs> or what they be accused of? <laughs> because people have a right to live wherever they want to live. That's the truth. Freedom of movement yeah. within the country. So what do you think the, the, government, the government should do to this? You don't have a right to live on the streets. I've said that on this table really? before. Really? Yeah. Hold on. You don't have a right to live on the streets? The no. street is not your okay. property. No. Okay, okay. So right. if you're moving to any town and you do not have accommodation, the government has a right to pick you off the streets. Mm. And, well, sending them back to where they came from has generated some controversy yeah. in Nigeria. Yeah. And we've also seen that the Lagos State House of Destitute is over populated. Yeah, House of Destitute. Yes. Oh, there is. Oh, really? Built yes. in 1990. Now, by... so the people who have become landlords in that destitute home now even charge other destitutes to come and sleep at night. So they come at night to sleep. In the morning, they all go on the streets to go and beg. But aside from the people who we know are Nigerians, and we, we know we can't really... Well, we can't really dwell too much on those, but there are those that come from Mali, from the neighboring countries. They because they believe there. Nigeria is rich. And those the Nigerians ones, it's, are it's, rich. It's, it's not just Jumaki. I don't think it's just because Nigeria. They think particularly because Lagos is rich, because a lot of them would give reasons of insecurity and especially the Boko Haram issue going on. And I'm thinking, okay, you're moving from the north. Okay, or wherever you are, or that is Miley. because the, the north mostly is where the Boko Haram activities uh, are being held. Now, can't you move to Enugu? Can't you move to Asaba? Can't you move to Benin? Can't you move to somewhere else? Why must it have to Abuja. be Lagos? Exactly, because Lagos has been perceived that this town where, where anything. Did, where did you move to Lagos? Exactly. No, Why it, did you it, is to no it is Why different. Did you I, no, Mariah, my, own, my case is different because I have, I know I am coming to Lagos to offer something. I'm not coming to come and She's pay. Coming to pay that tax. Is, exactly. Oh, uh, I pay tax too. <laughs> That, 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 that makes me different. I didn't come to Lagos to be a liability to the government to start begging on the street. Okay. Because as far as I'm concerned, those beggars are a major liability in the okay. state. Okay. Hmm. But they're Nigerians. The, the they ones are, Nigerians, are Nigerians. Nigerians. And they have some right within this territory. The right that they really have within their own state is to have each state government have destitute homes, have um, food kitchens where, for mm. whatever reasons, if you're poor, you can go to the food kitchen to get, get a, meal. a meal. Um, and destitute home that you can stay out of the cold at night and f away from insecurity mm -hmm. and all of that. Each state government is liable to their citizens for that. Okay? But when everybody from all over the country is fl um, flocking into one state, how do you want the state government to handle it? You okay? okay, yes. I disagree. Okay, before I take your disagreement, mm -hmm. let me take Blessing's call. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Blessing. Are you there? Good morning, ma'am. I can't hear you. Go ahead. Morning. Yes, morning. The issue of uh, people coming from other states to Lagos or they bring them. The thing you can see the level of poverty. Mm. Because as an individual, you can't say that you just wake up in the morning and you want to start begging. True. Something must have pushed you yeah. to that extent. True. I remember when I finished school, when I finished school, I didn't have. There's no job. I started selling pepper. Mm. I will go to the village in the morning and buy pepper and start selling. So suppose they I don't even have that thing. I can go out and start doing all that thing. And people will be blaming me. What I want to say is that we should not say, you know the government is trying, Fashola is trying. I don't know him, he doesn't know me. But they should try and look at look out for the genuine ones that have something to do or have some frustration. Mm. That they went out and stopped begging. It's not yeah. easy. To Thank you so much, blessing. Yeah, yes. how do you know? Who, how do you know no, the genuine on. ones? She yes. said something that I was going to say. 
Jumoke, I totally disagree with you. Go ahead. You said something that in the destitute homes that we have now, that you people have become landlords there, mm. and the new people they you pay them to come and sleep and go. Does it not tell you something that when you hand out things to people too much, they just get relaxed? I feel if at all the government wants to help to curb this issue, provide menial jobs, provide things that would make sure you must on every human being must understand that before I give you my one couple, there must be value for my money. Yes, I love the fact that a lot of children on the road started using um, this is they wash your 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 windscreen mm. although they started using very bad water but you see when they now saw that oh it was working in lagos before you can beg you must be innovative as a beggar because there are so many things that people don't hand out money anymore mm. just because you're crippled or something we've seen no we've seen a situation okay what we are directing us is the fact that there's a well, I mean, from also from blessings call that lost. there's a bigger issue of poverty De definitely which must be properly addressed, addressed. let me take mrs Oye 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 good morning madam Good morning, where are you? Yes, ma'am. Well done. Yes, ma'am. Why wouldn't they beg? Why they will give a child of 30 years for marriage? Mm. A girl that's supposed to go and learn something, they make the hands work or to go to school. They will not allow her to obtain anything for her life too. They will give her to a, 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 a husband that can burn Burn her mm. 20 times. Yeah. And later, that one will throw her out. Because some of them are not dead people. They yeah. are healthy people. And we see them moving from one state to yes. the other. All if right. you send them away from a fire, you will see them as a Coco <laughs> I don't know. All right. If I were a bachelor, I will send all of them back to their state. Okay. I know there is freedom of movement. But why will you be a problem to others? Yeah, I All right. Thank you so much, Mrs. Sorry, I'm see, to add one, one Can I disagree with Ua? Yeah. In agreeing with what this lady has said, on this table I watched on TV once that you were saying that there's some beggars, you offer them jobs. Mm. They'll say, I was no. making more money on the street. They'll go back on the street. Mm -hmm. What do you do to such a destiny? In addition to that, there's so much. Easy. One thing I've noticed with beggars is that they're forever having children. Mm. They always have kids. Come see them this year, they have a baby. Next five years, they still have a baby. Same baby. No, we know that they, they, they go to loan <laughs> those babies. Loan the babies how? Yes. Aside from True. loan, yeah, they loan they the babies. We've seen, we've, we've children. read a situation where somebody, somebody's friend Look called, at his, Look called at his friend, screen. called his friend and said, you know what, I just saw your baby on the street. These women are in destitutes, they're professional beggars. That's what we're saying. At least they have sex almost every other time. Yeah, see, see now. children, see children. No, these are not their children anymore. How can they not be their children? So where do they loan their children now? Exactly. Who are people giving birth to what I just said? Somebody saw his nanny, his friend's nanny with his own child on the street begging. It was not the woman's baby. That is a, that's that's a, a healthy that, that, baby. That's, that's, a, that's like, like one of these ones. That's a, that's a remote. It's a remote situation. Case. Let me tell you something. Where the problem is, the fundamental problem, is not even actually the begging. Mm. In this country, when you want to look for money, the first thing you think of, who can I meet to give me money? All the, all the, all the children abroad, they are being taught right from... Um, child, um, child secondary food. school that i mean primary school rather when i want to get money what do i do you go and bake cookies they now do a bake sale they, they sell cookies and they do value for money you, we right. don't have let that here take, let me take Tyler's call okay. good morning Tyler. they'll come to sanzi good, good morning, morning Tyler. Yes. Are you? good morning everybody in the studio good yes. morning it has become very difficult getting across to you people in fact i have stopped calling for some time sorry about that we have more viewers now that's why but go ahead please all right, uh, Sandra, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I and you met uh, one day at uh, Secretariat side, you remember? That's you have 10 solution. seconds, sir. You might not remember. Are you going to now, contribute to our topic? <laughs> Pardon? No, sir, are you going to contribute to our topic? Yes, 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 yes. Um, talking about beggars, we shouldn't blame the state government if they want to send them back. Fine, I know sometime last year it generated a lot of controversy because they sent some beggars back. The next place it. The problem from another state is giving me headache in my own state. Now, let's look mm. at all these beggars that are in Lagos. How many percentage of them are Lagosians, if there are any Lagosians within them at all? So if you have 100 percent beggars in Lagos and 80 percent of them from the north, 20 percent from the east, or then in Lagos, how will fashion alone pay for them? And like the motel, uh, 
that they have the excuse for it. How many can you accommodate in that church? Okay, God bless you. Right, point taken. How many the excuse for to get up? How many do they get up for? That will reduce the number of them that are actually coming to make God. Okay. And like uh, these people said, that these people call professional beggars. They don't even let you know how to deal with those that are actually destitute. Exactly. And we are of people that are destitute that are actually right. taking care of them. Thank you so uh, much, um, Tyler. Appreciate okay, your call. Yes, Tyler, he, just made a point. Sorry. he just made a point I was going to strike on. That the solution is this. Because as much as we know we cannot close off the borders, there are citizens, for them, who are, those who are citizens, they have right to every nook and cranny of the country. So what the government should do is those different states, they should build destitute homes. So <laughs> if Lagos destitute home is filled up, then they can transport them to Anambra or wherever. I don't, I don't think that destitute is home is the solution. That is. Because when you when create you a destitute home, you keep having them flocking the destitute homes. You don't need a destitute home. So what, do you kill them? The or do you no, 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 provide, provide them out of the country? She has said it already. The issue is poverty. Provide menial jobs. Whatever it is that would, Yes, give them an option. Then people should stop handing them money. Let them understand that before you can earn any money, you must give value for what you're earning. Okay, okay right. so yeah, let's listen. have some tweets. Muscle Memory uh, said, there's a chance from stories I've heard that most of these beggars on the streets are informers for highway robbers. Hmm. And the same Muscle Memory says again, I don't give those street beggars a cobble because I don't even feel sorry for them. Begging is like a family business for them. And a lot of other comments on newspaper. It is a family review. business because they keep having children and ask the children to go back to the streets to do the exactly same thing they were doing. Now, the issue, I don't want to say get, get into the issue of handicapped people because those are incapacitated, right? And they, they have some kind of reason to beg. But a society gives them reason because there are some other societies where these kind of people are actually being taken care of. You don't necessarily have to go and beg. Yes, have okay, I, yeah, I need to read this tweet from Moyo Jaji. And he said, our cultural diversities make enforcement very difficult. Have we forgotten the crisis between Anambra and Lagos over destitutes? Mm. Hmm. All right. We can't. Any, any other issues on this? I think generally we, are, we all agree. For the, for the handicap thing, yes. is, it is, it's still the mindset thing. A lot of I've seen people without hands paint. They paint with their, with their, with their feet. And they sell those paintings. I mean, those uh, artworks. Those ones may have and opportunities that others might not have. No. I went to Modupe home. I know what I'm saying. The, the young girl did something beautiful. It was a masterpiece. Mm. So they can encourage people like that to sell more of their artwork right. and make money. Not to say that they must go well, and beg. But the good thing is that in, in every mega city, we have beggars. And they're actually either singing for you or doing some kind of trick. That's what we're saying. Them. So we can't really get rid of them. We can't just get them out of no. Lagos State. We have to just Don't encourage them thank to you. do something to bring in, but not just go and beg. So, so I think that, that's, that's the result. point we've made. All right, next, Population. we're going to be discussing Lasso Students Unrest. Stay with us. We'll be right back.